Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Bill. I'm a prepper and I'm living in the Philippines. This short clip here is going to be the intro to a new series that I'm going to start creating where I talk about freeze-dried food, specifically Augustine Farms, and where I open them up, take a review, and give you my solid feedback. Before I start getting into today's actual stuff, I do have, as you can see, a quite a large assortment of Augustine's Farm freeze-dried food. Now, some of this stuff has shelf life between 5 years, 10 years, and 25 years, and it is a good long-term if you're in the long-term food storage solution. Now, I'm just over 50, so I'm definitely looking at food that can go long-term because I will hopefully will be around long-term. Long-term food storage might not be for everyone because there is a cost involved with the storage, the space it takes out, plus the ROI, right? The price you're paying for branded freeze-dried food. Now, if you guys watch my videos, you know up top, all those black bins, that's all the food that I've been freeze-drying myself at a greatly reduced cost. However, freeze-dried food can be great, and it gives you a sense of security knowing that you have a lot of freeze-dried food in your pantry. And keep in mind, even as a person that owns a freeze-dryer, some of the stuff I don't want to make. I don't want to make powdered milk. I don't want to make uh, onions. I don't want to do a lot of things that I find that I'd rather buy. But anyways, so it's your personal preference as a prepper and how you stack your food storage. I have a mix. I certainly have a mix of canned foods, um, grain staples, and freeze-dried foods. I, I have a great mix. If, if you're curious about that, watch any one of my pantry videos. But this series, I wanted to actually open these cans up and cook it. I wanted to see if it's good. I wanted to give you my honest feedback about the taste of whatever um, flavor or brand I open. And then I wanted also just to double check. So that said, this is the intro. You're going to see the same intro on the next 10 videos in this series. But I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, remember to hit that like button. Hey, everyone. This is Bill again. So continuing along with my reviews of the Augustine Farms uh, dehydrated and freeze-dried product, you guys overwhelmingly at 52% wanted to see butter powder next. Now, I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna point out a couple things. When I got these cans from the US, this one came dented. So I'm gonna show you this one in the video, but I'm gonna open this one. So if you're com confused by me shifting things around, that's what it is. And I apologize for the road noise. It's about one in the afternoon on a Sunday, so traffic's out there doing its thing. So anyways, on with today's review. This is the two pound, four ounce can of Augustine Farms butter powder. 204 servings. It has a real dairy marking, I guess, is that what that's for? 10 year shelf life, and we're just supposed to add water. Okay. Now the ingredients is called out as butter powder, and it comes from cream, water, salt, non-fat milk, vitamin E and vitamin C added to protect the flavor. And it does contain milk, this is a dairy product. Now, when using in place of butter, it says a half cup powder to one and a half tablespoons of water. I wanna make sure I get this right, okay? Now, I wanna make a spreadable, cause I'm gonna put it on bread. It says one cup butter powder with six tablespoons. Well, I don't need a full cup. So I'm gonna make a half cup butter powder with three tablespoons of water. And then I'm gonna spread that on some gardenia bread. And I'm gonna open this can. So give me two seconds to get this can open, the dented one, and I'll be right back with you, stand by. All right, so I am back, and this is what it looks like inside. It looks perfect. I was kind of worried because the can was dented, but it looks like it held its uh, form pretty well. I'm going to keep this oxygen absorber, I'll just put it aside for now, because um, when I repackage this in Mylar, I am going to definitely just toss that back in there. So I'm making half the spreadable, so I'm doing a half a cup of this butter powder. And let's find the correct measuring cup here. 
one half cup. So. One half cup. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in the bowl. That's a lot of butter. Let me just push this to the side for a minute. Now, half the recipe of six tablespoons, which I have a tablespoon, not a teaspoon here, okay? So I'm gonna use three. Now I'm using warm water because it didn't say hot or cold. So one, two, three, tablespoons. Let's see if I can get this over here. I'm going to use this fork to blend all this here. It doesn't look like a lot of water, but I'm assuming it's because we want a buttery consistency and we don't want butter soup, right? All right, so all the way, all the water was absorbed. And let me just show you what it looks like now. It's still powdery, but I'm assuming as I whip this into shape, it's gonna be more of a butter. So let me just get to get to doing that. Yeah, and it's taking shape here. Now it smells like butter. I'll give it that. Now I'm not going to try to use this to fry something like you would a regular butter or margarine where you can use it to fry an egg or, you know, in, as a grease substitute because the reality is I've watched other reviewers online and this butter does not melt, okay? It doesn't melt like your typical butter would. It is good in baking though, so you can substitute this and there's directions for baking um, mix on the can. But if you're just gonna make a spreadable butter like I plan to show you here, then uh, it's gonna bread. All right, so that's a lot of butter. That's why I'm glad I half this recipe. All right, let me show you what I got here. This is very much um, like a, a margarine butter cream consistency, okay? So I'm gonna use gardenia bread, which is, if you're from the US, um, it's just your standard white bread, maybe your Wonder Bread variant. I'm not toasting this because I want to see how spreadable it is when it comes down to a regular slice. Let me point my camera down, maybe you can watch what I'm doing here. Bear with me one second. Okay. All right, so I'm going to use the same spoon. Let me dry it off over here on this kitchen towel. Now I'm just going to use the back of the spoon and I'm just going to grab a, a big chunk of this butter. And I think it's going to spread just fine just from filling the consistency of it. All right, so it did mix up rather well. All right. So now that I showed you that, let me show you me tasting it. All right, guys, so this is the Augustine Farms butter powder in the spreadable uh, recipe format. I'm gonna take a bite here, regular standard bread. Mm. Now, it tastes like butter. It's not the taste I was expecting, but the reality is I use margarine here more than butter. It's creamy, it's not gritty, so it mixes well. Mm. It's a strong, rich butter. I put a lot of butter on there. But for, I'm assuming for pancakes, sandwiches, baking, you got butter, right? So anything that's gonna require butter in baking, this will work just fine. Mm -hmm. mm. Now it'll work just fine as a spread, obviously. Crackers, bread, whatever. Um, yeah, it's butter. I think it's, it's a perfect, I, I think it's exactly what it says it is. I think that uh, it's a lot of butter. I, I don't know how long this is gonna last. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and repackage that can back up in Mylar with some new O2 absorbers and get it back up on the shelf. And uh, if you like these kind of reviews, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Comment down below if you've had experience with this butter product or any other powder butter product and, and let me know your thoughts on that matter. All right, guys. So until next time and next review, remember, always be safe. Thank you.